Hey kids, it's time for Reading with Rangers! Today's reader is Mrs. Lewis. Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Lewis and her daughter Margaret with a special guest named Mary Ellen. We're back today to read one of Margaret's favorite books. Puff the Magic Dragon. Puff the Magic Dragon. Written by Peter Yarrow and Lenny Lipton with paintings by Eric Pooh Barrett. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanalei. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal Puff and brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist and a land called Hanalei. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist and a land called Hanalei. Together they would travel on boat with billowed sail. Jackie kept a lookout perched on Puff's gigantic tail. Noble kings and princes would bow whenever they came near. And pirate ships would lower their flags whenever Puff roared out his name. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumnus and on Count Hanalei. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumnus and on Count Hanalei. <laughs> A dragon lives forever, but not so little girls and boys. Painted wings and giant's rings make way for other toys. One gray night it happened, Jackie Paper came no more. And puff that mighty dragon, he ceased his fearless roar. His head was bent in sorrow, green scales fell like rain. Puff no longer went to play along the cherry lane. Without his lifelong friend, Puff could not be brave. So puff that mighty dragon sadly slipped into his cave. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanalei. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanalei. I hope you like that book as much as Margaret does. <laughs> I love it so much. Thanks for tuning in to Reading with Rangers. See you next time.